It's me again, Margaret, as the old Ray Stevens song says. Um, one more tiny little video about paint mixing for airbrushing because I realized I really didn't tell you guys about consistency or anything like that. Um, this is just the way I do it, just like the color pencil videos. It's not the only way or the best way, blah, 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 blah. Um, anyhow, the first thing is I would, if I were you, go ahead and pre-mix a lot of black. Now this may differ depending on what kinds of paintings you do. I tend to like to do a lot of horror themed, gothic, what have you stuff. Um, so I actually use a lot of black. A lot of my stuff is nighttime or I do a lot of planets or space or something like that. Um, and then black is just good to have around because whenever you're using an airbrush, the great thing is you can get just a tiny little bit of it um, at a time so it doesn't turn out to be completely black black. It just winds up being enough to give you a little shading or a little texture. So for instance on this monstrosity here, I'm having to tilt the camera a little bit, um, but you'll notice on the sand I've got what look like some dips. That was just a single pass from about six, seven inches away with the airbrush. And it was just plain black paint, but as you see here, it doesn't actually look black. It just looks like a little dip in the sand versus this tree, which is obviously black black. So um, what winds up happening is you can actually use a lot of uh, different effects with one color, which kind of simplifies your process a little bit. So if you know you're going to be using a lot of colors, uh, or if you're going to be using a lot of one color, pardon me, you may want to go ahead and invest in a one dollar big old jar. This came from the Dollar Tree, actually, um, and just pre-mix a whole crap load of it because you already know you're going to have to have it. Uh, the other thing about mixing, you're going to need materials needed, as they say in the tutorial videos sometimes. Big old bowl of water, showed you that in the last video. I have a little shot glass here for actually dipping the water out. I think it's Diamond Jack's Casino. Uh, no, I'm not actually a gambleaholic or an alcoholic, I swear. Uh, sometimes you may have little jars like this. This was from an old thing of poster paint from the dollar store. You'll hear the words dollar store come out of my mouth a lot. Uh, this is the jar that came with the actual airbrush for a bottom load, like this one. Or it's also a side load, so you can use the cup, or you can use the jar. Like I said, I use a lot of black, so I just went ahead and sacrificed the jar to be a one-color jar. Um, I would put tape over your little spout, if I were you, to keep it from drying out because on the inside of this jar, you actually have a little straw type tube that sucks the paint up into the airbrush. So yeah, if that dries up in the tube, you're gonna have to spend a couple hours trying to scrub it out. I just use a little clear glass bowl. I'm a big girl, I eat a lot, so this was not good for my snacking needs. It's tiny, but it was good for my paint mixing needs. And since I'm about to do my nice little little red thing there, I already know I'm going to need some autumn leaves. Oh, I love it. Halloween is coming. Are you ready? Because I am. I've been ready for six months. So whenever I mix this, once again, as on the last video, do not use rubbing alcohol. I just throw some in the bowl, about however much I think. Um, now, if you already know that you're going to use a whole lot of it, that's going to help you out a little bit. Basically, what you need to know before you start mixing is that you're going to put about half of the paint that you think you're going to need. So if you think you're going to need a jar this big, let's say for the sake of argument, you would only fill it to about right there with paint and everything else is going to be water. Because whenever you mix this, you want it to be, what they say on the internet, about the consistency of 2% milk. And I'll show you how I kind of test that here in a minute. So I just put in a little bit of water at a time. It doesn't look like a little bit, does it? But it actually is. Small bowl, small bowl. And I use my fingers. Now, they do have a paint mixer on Amazon, on the internet. And uh, it's, I don't remember how much it is. I'm a cheapskate, so, you know. 
Um, and I just go ahead and use my finger because what happens if you use a brush, obviously you have to keep cleaning the brush in between times and blah, 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 but you can't feel the pigment like you can if you use your finger. So if I have some paint that I haven't opened in a while, let's say, it may have a few clumps in it. If I use my finger, I can feel those clumps while I'm actually doing the mixing and I can go ahead and flatten them out, kind of like a mortar and pestle situation, which if you're into the herb herbal healing and whatnot, um, like I am, and you have a mortar and pestle, you can actually use that, but I just prefer the tactile sensation, I guess. And then whenever you get through mixing it, if whenever it's the right consistency, it'll be about like 2% milk. So what you'll do is you'll take a relatively clean finger, clean compared, dip it in there and you'll see how it drops. If it drops pretty easy, you know you're on the right track. The other thing I like to do, let's see if I can do this, I don't have a tripod. Oh no, I don't know how I'm going to show you this, but I'll take some and I'll put on the back of my hand. And then I kind of look at it. Here, this is how we're going to do this. It should be, you can tell I've been, you know, messing around. It should be still colored enough that it stains your hand a little bit, but you can see your skin tone through it, and it's kind of thin and, well, like I say, like 2% milk. That's about the best I can explain that. Um, the other thing, you may want to get a little $2 dish pan like I have down there so that whenever you get through with a particular color or whenever you have something you want to get rid of, you can just dump it in there instead of having to go back to the bathroom sink over and over and over and over again. I'm lazy. I like a dish pan. It's up to you, dear. It's up to you. I also tend to keep some toilet paper. Other people keep paper towels because, as you see, it does get messy. Of course, I also like to just rub the paint off on my skirt. But... The result of that is this. So don't wear your good clothes. Don't wear your good clothes. Uh, that's about it for paint mixing. Hopefully that answers any questions you have related to the process. And I hope you guys have happy crafting. And I'm going to get to work.